Hello everyone, I'm here with the Mammoth Apto 2.0 asking gun stocks, do you need them? Right, so quick intro on the Mammoth Apto. So this is a universal gun stock that can be used with pretty much any VR headset and controllers on the market. Now this attracted me because I've got a number of headsets and I like jumping between them. And I particularly liked the different options you have with this. So this is a fully modular set. So you can have them mounted like this, like I do. You can even have them top mounted, so it would look almost as if I'd flip this over and you sort of hold it underneath like a sort of Tommy gun. You can change around any of the fixings. So if you want a half stock, so if you don't want this little bit at the end, you just want a little semi stock to keep them leveled up, you can do that. If you want to set up as a pistol, you can. Pretty much anything you want, you can do with this. On the screen you're able to see some gameplay of me actually using the Mammoth Gunstock while playing Contractors, one of my favourite VR shooters. You can see exactly how it works as we talk about it. Now I've been playing VR shooters for quite some time and I haven't been using a Gunstock at all. I've been playing handheld and I've been playing really really well. But I was first introduced to this particular Gunstock when Tyler and Sean, the boys from Render Reality, started really raving about how much they enjoyed using it. So I went away, did a little bit of research and thought, I've really got to get my hands on one, I need to see how this works. So why would you choose to use a gunstock in VR at all? Now there's a number of reasons. The first of all, it's immersion. So if you're holding something that feels like you're really holding a gun, then you quickly fall into that and it really feels like you're taking part in the scene. Also, and for me more importantly, when you're aiming in VR, you need to line up your two controllers almost in a straight line so you can see down the sight of the gun. Now that can be quite messy and it can really slow down your, your aiming. If you've got a gun stock, it helps to stabilise them two together and it's really quick and easy to lock that position up and it almost becomes muscle memory so you can quickly get them into position and aim at your opponents. It also helps steady your aim. So when you're shooting for quite a long time or you might be aiming at a target that's a particularly long distance away, it can be quite difficult in VR to hold that gun really really straight and steady but when you're strapped to a piece of equipment that's kind of anchored to your body you can make it much 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 more consistent your shots improve and you you hit the target a lot more often so if you take the Mamut Apto that I'm using it's got an anchor point that presses against your chest and it's also got a um, chin rest or cheek rest that kind of sticks out at the side so you can plant your face against that and then you're really really well anchored and you can shoot for quite a long time in a very very consistent way if I compared my um gun spray between me free holding two controllers and me using the gun stock I would be much much more accurate with the gun stock. Add those two points together and it can quickly become the difference between you winning and losing a gunfight and for me when I'm playing online I'm very competitive and I'm out there to win so any little advantage like that I'm desperate to have. So it sounds like a no-brainer right? Why wouldn't everyone use a gun stock? Well there are some cons. First of all I mean, this one particularly is expensive. A universal stock, so it comes with the fixtures and fittings that you need to fit pretty much any controller on the market. Now that adds quite a lot of cost. I've been jumping between the HP Reverb G2 and the Quest 2. The, um, the Mimic Apto works really well for both of them. Now there are other options out there that are made for specific headsets. So if you've got one headset that you use all the time and that's what you're sticking with, you might be much better suited to go and find something bespoke for that. It would save you a lot of money and you might even get a smoother experience. For me, I wanted options and I wanted something that I can continue to use for years and years as I continue to upgrade my equipment. Now because the Mammoth Apto is fixed together using these thumb screws that connect the rods together and it's made in a way that you can adapt it so much, there's so much that can go wrong with it. And if you haven't taken the time to fully set it up correctly and really, really tighten those thumb screws, you can find things slipping a little bit during a game. Now, when I first played with this, that happened to me quite a bit, and I found it really, really frustrating. Halfway through a match, my setup would be completely wrong, and I'd have to be adapting my gameplay to suit my now incorrectly set up equipment. So you really do need to take the time to make sure it is set up correctly. It was also quite daunting to put together. So when it arrives, it arrives in many, many boxes with hundreds of little components that, um, that look incredibly intimidating when you lay them out on the table ready to build. Now for me, I'm not a massively technically minded person and I did find that quite, um, quite intimidating. However, I looked up some guides online, I followed the steps on the online manual and it was put together quite well. There was quite a lot of leftover bits, so there are more bits than you need, particularly if you're going to set it up in the style that I've set it up. But 
If you take the time and follow the steps, you will end up with a, uh, a decent bit of kit. And if I can build it, then genuinely anybody can build it. Just be prepared that it's not gonna come pre-assembled. Another potential drawback of using the stock is that it can slow down your reloading mechanic. So the way it deals with reloading is that the controllers are attached to the um, stock using some particularly strong magnets that are in the base of the grips. And then there's magnets on the bases of the stock that the grips just slot into. Now the magic of using those magnets is that when you've got your headset on and you can't see where you're putting your hands, it really helps them find the right position quite efficiently. But it does still mean that when you go to reload, you've got to do more than you would do if your controllers were just free. You have to sort of be cognizant of the fact that you're kind of snapping them off this unit, putting them down to your side, grabbing the ammo, bringing it back into position, and then putting that back in place. And sometimes it takes a little bit of a wiggle after they've landed to make sure they're properly locked in. You do get used to it pretty quick, and I now say after a couple of weeks playing with it, I'm probably as quick as I would have been without using a stock at all. But there's been a bit of a learning curve for me to get there. Now sadly, not every game comes with the ability to calibrate your setup to a gun stock. My favourite shooter is Contractors, that's what I'm showing you on the screen. And that has a brilliant way of calibrating your, your gun stock. It means you can make pretty much any weapon in the game set up perfectly to your, your setup. Some other games don't feature any adjustment at all. I'm hoping that the growing prevalence of gun stocks means that games going forwards are going to be much more likely to include this kind of option. So you should be prepared for the fact that if your game does have the option to calibrate, it's something you're going to need to do. You can't just jump in and play with it straight away. It takes a little bit of time to set it up. Now that time is so valuable because if you do it right, your game is going to be so much, much better off for it. And there is also absolutely ways to get around it if a game doesn't have that option to calibrate it. What you have to do is actually change the setup of your gun stock. So for me with the Mamma Apto, I, I just adjust a couple of the thumb screws that attach just below the grips, and then you tilt your controllers forwards so they're kind of pointed towards the target as you would hold them if you weren't using a stock at all. You've still got that anchor point below them, but they're just tilted more forward than a sort of straight up handle position. Also, there's a bit of a learning curve to using the whole setup. So I was a bit disappointed when my gunstock arrived. I took the time to set it up properly. I calibrated it. I went into a game set up everything exactly how I thought it should be and I scored significantly lower than I had done without the gun stock previously. I play quite a lot of VR shooters and I expect to be scoring you know, reasonable scores. I want to be halfway toward the top of the leaderboard if not at the top of the leaderboard. I like to be playing consistently and leaving a match feeling like I've done pretty well. Now I didn't do that when I first played with the stock and I found that really disappointing, almost disheartening and I wasn't sure if I should continue using it. For my first few uses of this gun stock, I actually scored dead bottom of the leaderboards in the matches I was playing on contractors. I was finding that I was playing much slower than I would have previously, my reloads were taking longer, and I was really struggling to get used to this new setup. But once you've taken the time to get used to things, it starts improving really quickly, and I now find that I score better than I had done without the gun stock pretty much consistently. So I am absolutely going to be sticking with it. Now I use the stock with the Mammoth DX grips which almost give you sort of valve index style straps that hold your hand in place. They're my preferred option. I do sometimes play with the cups. There's, there's some small little cups that attach to the base of your controller. They work for both the G2 and the Quest as do the DX grips. I think I prefer the DX grips. Now sadly neither of them are perfect because even though it is a universal gun stock they try and fit the mounts specific to the um, controllers you're using. Now, the official DX grips that are made to fit a HP Reverb G2 and a Quest 2 haven't come out yet. They're due in about a month or two, according to the Mammoth rep that I spoke to recently. The fact that they're not made to fit it means that sometimes you can find the controllers trying to just slip out a little bit and you have to kind of press them back down in. Now there are a number of hacks that have been um, discussed that help you improve this. You can use a little bit of Velcro and they've actually included some of that in the package or you can use a cable tie to try and attach it to the ring at the top of your controller. But if I'm honest, it's not too much of an issue and once you get used to it, you sort of adapt how you use it and it doesn't really get in the way. So the big question that remains, I suppose, is would I recommend you go and get one yourself? And if I'm honest, I have found it invaluable and it's added so much to my experience. So I really would recommend you look into picking one up, whether that is something like the Mama Apto or one of the many other ones that are available on the market. For me, Contractors has been my go-to with the gun stock. 
I'd love to hear if you found other games to be particularly good when played with Gunstock. So do leave us a comment if you know of any and I'll be sure to check them out myself. So there we have it, that's the Mamut Apto 2.0. Do us a favour, if you like this video, press the like button. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, press subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.